Legendary sprinter Milka Singh, also known as the Flying Sikh, is no more. He died due to post-COVID complications at the age of 91. The four-time Asian gold medalist tested COVID positive last month and lost a valiant battle after developing fever and a dip in oxygen level. His death, of course, coming just five days after his wife Nirmal also died due to post-COVID complications. Take a look at this report. Flying Sikh Milka is no more. The legendary athlete who put Indian athletics on the world map with sensational performances on the track breathed his last on Friday night following COVID-related complications. The news of his passing away came just five days after Milka Singh lost his wife Nirmal Kaur, who was a former captain of the Indian volleyball team. Last month, Milka Singh had tested positive after one of his house helps was infected. Messages of condolences began to pour in immediately after the news of Milka Singh began to circulate. इस देश के लिए जो किया है स्पोर्ट्स में एस ए सिटीजन वो बहुत बड़ी मिसाल है और आने वाले कई पुश्तों तक उस मिसाल को लोग याद करके आपकी तरह बनने की कोशिश करते रहे प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लेड वे एस द कंट्री वेंट इन टू मॉर्निंग मोदी एक्सप्रेस्ड हिज एंग्विश ओवर द डेथ ऑफ द लेजेंड but also acknowledged the inspiration that Milka Singh has had been for many. Milka Singh won many gold medals, but is still remembered the most for his fourth place finish at the 1960 Rome Olympics. He created a 400 meter national record, which remained intact until Paramjit Singh surpassed it in 1998. Milka Singh, in his illustrious career, won a gold at the Cardiff Commonwealth Games in 1958, and then also struck four gold medals at 1958 and 1962 Asian Games. His contribution to Indian athletics has been immense, and with his demise, it's the end of an era. But the legend of Milka Singh is immortal and will continue to live and inspire for years to come. It's the end of an era. Milka Singh was no ordinary legend. What were the notable milestones of the flying Sikh? Let's take a look. It was, of course, the 1960 Olympics in Rome, where he finished fourth in the four-meter race. Now, came within touching distance of the podium finish, and that is when perhaps he caught the world's attention, even though he himself was extremely disappointed. Then came 1958 uh, Commonwealth Games in Wales. He won India's first individual gold medal and there also holding the record for over five decades. In 1958, the Asian Games in Tokyo, where he bagged two gold medals in 200 meters and 400 meter races. Then came the 1962 Asian Games in Jakarta. This is where Milka Singh bagged the gold medal in 400 meter race, bagging the gold medal in four by 400 meter relay race as well. That was Milka Singh doing his best given the limited facilities and the circumstances that he had. And the final rides of Milka Singh will be carried out at around 5 p.m. today in Chandigarh. India Today's Manjeet Segal brings his report from outside the residence in Chandigarh of Milka Singh.
We are outside the residence of late uh, Splinter Milk Hussing. On my left side, you can see this is house number 725, located in sector 8. This area has been cordoned off, and Chandigarh police is already guarding this house. Milk Hussing breathed his last on Friday night at 11. 3.0 p.m. Milk Hussing was admitted to PGI on 3rd of June and on 13th of June he tested negative but there were some post-COVID complications then he was shifted to medical ICU. A team of dedicated PGI doctors was treating Milk Hussing but Milk Hussing succumbed to the virus on Friday night. His mortar remains will be placed inside this house so that his fans, well-wishers and Chandigarh personalities can pay their last respects to the departed soul. His cremation is likely to be conducted later in the evening. With video journalist Leep Sahu, this is Manjit Sagal in Chandigarh for India Today. Now the tributes are pouring in for the legendary sprinter. Let's listen in now to some sports persons who remember the great sporting icon. Listen in. It is really sad news, very, very sad news about Milkaji uh, uh, passing away. Uh, one of India's greatest sporting legends and uh, he's no more. I know he was in, the, in his 90s and with, with his fitness, uh, I thought uh, he is going to complete a century. I was really looking forward uh, uh, to that happening, him completing a century. He's been very encouraging, very, very humble, very polite, uh, hardly ever spoke about his own achievements, but always spoke about your achievements. It's really a heartbreaking news for each uh, sports lovers and for our country. Uh, our dear Milkaji is no more. He was a real legend and we really, really missing his presence now. All right, I'm now joined by our guests as well. And this time joining me, remember people have been pouring in with all sorts of tributes. And now Vivek Singh, joined MD from the ProCam International is joining me. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for uh, taking out your time as well at this point. You, you must have known uh, Milka Singh uh, clearly for many, many years now. And he's not only been the brand ambassador for some of the marathons that you've organized, but precisely when an athlete of such a stature becomes a part of sporting events like you had organized, what does that mean to the marathon and to know somebody personally? Did you know him personally? Did you, do you have any anecdotes to share as well with us? Yes, of course. Uh, a flying seat is no more. I can't believe it. I had the pleasure of interacting with him personally a few times. And as the event ambassador of the Airtel Delhi Half Marathon, we spent two or three days together. His spirit, his, his effervescent spirit really stays on. I remember two or three things so clearly from him. He was invited by Standard Chartered Bank in Mumbai for a very, very round table personal talk. And he told us about the hardships of what it means to be a world beater. And I remember this takeaway from him very clearly. He said that today, like in the past, the athlete has to work very, very hard. And then he paused and he says, but in today's world, the parents of the athlete has to work twice as hard. So that was one anecdote I remember. Yes. The second I remember was when he stood at the start line of the Airtel Delhi Half Marathon. This was, I think, 2017 when he was the event ambassador. And he saw people of all ages, shapes and sizes coming together to run. He couldn't believe his eyes. He says, ye jo aap kar rahe ho, ye acha hai. Isse pura desh ka athletic spirit badlega. I was so touched, I had yes. tears in my eyes. He was, oh, he says, aisa hi hona chahiye. Sab ko daur mein bhaag lena chahiye. Aise cheezo se hi apna desh ka athletic spirit. 
Uh, uh, Mr. Singh, how do you how do you think the so impact well. that uh, Milka Singh had on, let's say, the younger generation, either of athletes or simply someone interested in sports? When someone of that stature, and you're t telling us that he didn't try and play it easy, he did mention hard work. So, how do you think people must have got inspired by getting involved with and even just watching Milka Singh? That's such a good question. You know hard work, ethics, we all know that. But the one thing you could take away from Milka Singh was how he put his country before himself every time. And even, you know, an example that people will resonate with, when Bhag Milka Bhag was made, yes, we heard what Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra wanted to do with the script. He heard how he wanted to treat the script. He sold his rights for one rupee. Hmm. This is he says this is the message, and if you're doing it in this manner, then I want this message to come out, and it doesn't matter that I don't make my millions, which he can rightfully stake claim to, because Bhag Milka Bhag was a commercial film. Correct. So it's not just the hard work; it's the essence, the ethos. That Anji. Well, Pooja, if you see, uh, the police has already cordoned off uh, Milka Singh's house. It's his house number 725, located in Sector 8. And uh, some of his close relatives have already started coming in. And according to the family sources, his mortal remains will be placed inside this house uh, for the people to pay the last respects to the departed soul. And after that, uh, his funeral will be moved uh, towards sector 25 where the last rites will be conducted and according to the sources union minister kiran rijiju is also expected to uh, join the family in this hour of grief puja and manjeet segal will be of course live when the final rites are taking place and when of course there will be tributes pouring in at about 5 pm he's saying authorities are not leaving any stone unturned to ensure that it will be a smooth procedure. Thank you so much, Manjeet. I'll come back to you shortly. India Today also spoke to Olympian Krishna Punya about the flying sick and his journey as an athlete and his achievements. Listen in to all the tributes coming in. Look, <laughs> और हम हम एथलीटों को जो हम इस एज के हैं हमारे लिए तो वो एक गार्जियन की तरह भी थे जो जज्बा हम उनमें देखते थे वो हमें हौसला देता था और विशेष तौर पे मेरे लिए तो बड़े प्राउड वाली मोमेंट रही जब उन्होंने 1958 में जब गोल्ड मेडल कॉमनवेल्थ में जीता और उसके एक लंबे समय के बाद लगभग 52 इयर्स के बाद मेरा गोल्ड मेडल कॉमनवेल्थ गेम में था और जब आ, मैं विक्ट्री स्टैंड पे थी तो उस समय वो खुद चलकर पोडियम की तरफ से आए और आ, उन्होंने जिस तरीके से हैंड शेक किया जिस तरीके से उन्होंने फीट थपथपाई तो आ, कहा कि बेटा आ, आज मैं खुश हूं मैं 80 साल का हो चुका हूं कि इतने वर्ष में मैंने वो मेडल नहीं देखा था और वो आपने करके दिखाया है तो मैं इस तरीके से मैं महसूस कर सकती हूं कि बीइंग ए एथलीट उन्हें कितनी खुशी हुई होगी कि आज हमारे देश में मेडल आया और समय समय पर वो एथलेटिक्स जगत के लिए बातें अपनी आवाज भी उठाते रहते थे कि क्या सुधार होने से सो ओलंपियंस पेइंग ट्रिब्यूट एज वेल बट रिमेंबर ब्रिंगिंग 